Linus Tech Tips coverage of PAX 2013 is brought to you by Western Digital, Intel, and SteelSeries. So we're here in the Intel booth at PAX 2013. There is a ton of stuff on display here. Gaming, desktops, tablets, all kinds of great stuff. They're giving away over $40,000 worth of processors throughout the show. But behind me here, I have the Main Gear Pulse 14. This is a bit of a unique notebook because it takes what you would call a more traditional DIY approach because obviously Main Gear's roots are from sort of the custom desktop background that they started up with and they've taken a lot of those principles and applied them to this notebook right here. So let's go through the general specs. It's got a quad core 4702 processor, so that's about as good as you can get within a 35 watt TDP. It's got a GTX 7 60M, which from a pure performance standpoint, it should give you about double what you're going to get with a 660M, so it's a huge generational improvement. It still maintains a very slim overall form factor, doesn't compromise on I.O. So on the left hand side here, you got your power in, you got your ventilation, HDMI, VGA, aha, yes. Still hardwired gigabit ethernet, two super speed USB 3 ports. Then on the other side, you find another USB 2.0 port, card reader, headphone, and microphone jacks. The screen runs at 1600 by 900, although a little bird told me it might be available in even higher resolutions moving forward. The keyboard is a chiclet type, unfortunately not backlit, but... This is where things start to get really interesting. The pricing is extremely aggressive, starting at $12.49. And check this out on the back. Unfortunately, the base model doesn't include the sexy paint job for the back of the notebook. So you can see that is a premium automotive finish. Main Gear figures, their own shop is better than most of the shops in the Jersey area. And it is dedicated to painting not only your PC, but also potentially the accessories that you acquire with it. So Check this out. Here's a Logitech gaming mouse that has also had the same finish applied to it. Now that DIY spirit is back, guys, because the storage configuration of this notebook is extremely flexible. In spite of its small size, so 14 inches and very slim, it can accept a two and a half inch drive. So whether it's an SSD or a hard drive doesn't really seem to matter. And two MSATA SSDs all at the same time. So you could actually run two SSDs for boot and then throw a two and a half inch hard drive in there for storage, giving you an extremely flexible little system. Guys, don't miss any of our PAX 2013 coverage. Remember, we're powered here at the show by Intel, Western Digital, and SteelSeries.